you see DHS preparing for civil unrest. Headline, this was on Drudge Report over the weekend, and it's bombshell. DHS prepares for civil unrest as Obama poised to destroy the Second Amendment. That's our contributor, Susan Posel, and really just highlights the fact that there's 30,000 drones. Janet Napolitano was just in a House hearing last week justifying this, saying how it's all for public safety, that they're going to have tens of thousands of drones spying on everything imaginable in this country. And it's all to get ready for this economic collapse or the possible fight back against new gun bans or any other crazy policies that this administration or any other tries to jam down Americans throw and we've seen them saying that the new the new terrorism is going to be a lone wolf. It's some kind of American. It's white Al Qaeda. They've been demonizing tea parties, returning veterans. You don't think we could see how this is all being added together? They want a strategy, attention against the people themselves in this country. That's why we're all getting armed. Nobody wants a fight. But Homeland Security has repeatedly shown that they do want a fight. And it's not just Homeland Security. The Army is in the news. The U.S. Army purchases riot gear as fears over civil unrest grow. Well, you know and I know if you've been watching this program for any amount of time, the Army War College, police stations in Arizona, different parts of the National Guard and Army have all been preparing for the civil unrest with their own riot gear and everything else since at least 2008 before the economic crisis had really even truly begun when it was just beginning, if you will. And they've seen all this coming. It's just disgusting. But you have Paul Joseph Watson reporting on this, the purchase of the riot gear, and how the recently leaked U.S. Army military training manual for civilian civil disturbance operations outlines military assets used to domestically quell riots, confiscate firearms, and even kill Americans on U.S. soil during mass arrest. Yes, the manual says don't even fire a warning shot. Just fire on people if they're believed to be rioters or basically otherwise causing problems. Fire on Americans. Will you fire on Americans? And they've done surveys at all these different military training institutes. You've seen entire units stand down, refusing to answer these surveys. But it's been going on for some time. It's a complex issue. I can't give you all the details here. But the government's ready. They're ready. They don't like individual Americans with rights. That's why they're so willing to embrace gun control at every opportunity. Whether you believe they staged these crises or not, you're damn sure they seized upon them. You can see it time and again, and I really hope they don't do it in this country. And here they are again, government military to fly predator drones over North Dakota. And they've got new FAA regulations allowing the National Guard to train with predator drones with laser-guided bombs and missiles on domestic soil in North Dakota, and they've already been mixing the metaphors because they've been using drones in North Dakota in particular to spy on that farmer who was accused of stealing, I think, six cows or something. And here they are separately training for the type of predator drones that actively use missiles and other high-technology weapons, and you bet it's all coming home. Unfortunately, it is. Anyway, they go into the details here, and different aircraft owners and pilots associations object in particular to the use of lasers because they could be dangerous to other aircraft.